Well, hello there, my viewers. It is your lovely host here. It is Team Rara. How is everyone doing on this Monday's edition? I am doing very well. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. And let's discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss with you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some to drink. Now, if you don't do nothing like that, maybe you might chill like a villain and hear my th theories and my opinions on this topic. And of course, the link will be down below because it's an article plus the feedback from Twitter. Let's roll this. Now, the last few days, I discuss about the boss, Sasha Banks. She's in so much hot water backstage. She's very unhappy because she lost the tag team belts at Mania. Her and Bailey, and there's rumors that Bailey and Sasha Banks are done with the company. We don't know what's going to happen. And also, Sasha Banks unfollowed McMahon and unfollowed the WWE and followed Corey Rhodes and AEW. Probably I got the information wrong. I'm sorry. So let me give you a quick preview, okay? Banks, re sorry, Banks posted two messages to Twitter on early this morning from the Superstar Shake-Up. Yeah, tonight is a shake-up. Actually, is in process right now. Um, let me see here. As we previous report, Banks was said to have told WWE she wouldn't be showing up this week either. The fact that she used the hashtag for involved, I know I messed up, process, and NXC UK would love, I mean, sorry, I mean, NXC UK would lead some to believe that she could be leaving me looking to take her talent across the ocean. You guys agree? Disagree. Now, I usually do the podcast, I'm having issues with the end, so I gotta do it this way, sorry. It took me forever. Now, I love Sasha Banks. She's a great athlete, but like I said, last time I discussed about Sasha, Sasha Banks, she can't keep her mouth shut. I don't know if you guys agree with me or disagree with me. I guess this is a very hot topic right now in the WWE, and it's so sad if she's going to leave, you know? And probably because she's not happy with their current status with WWE, like a lot of these female wrestlers or male wrestlers. Look at Dean Ambrose. They don't they don't treat him right. You may think so, but I don't think so. He will do better things in another company. And I also heard he's gonna take some couple months off and re energize. We'll see what's gonna happen. Now if Dean Ambrose is a major impact Maybe, maybe not. What's your thoughts? Do you think Sasha Binks is a big impact for the women's division? I say yes. So, if both of them will be gone, Sasha Binks and Bailey, that is a huge blow, okay? Now, for Bailey, you guys probably are Bailey fans or not, she is the weakest, or well, well, probably there's a lot of weakest women in the Raw division, and it's sad, you know? They use the same women week after week after week. It's the same old bullcrap. Now, speaking of the shakeup, I'm not really a fire up for it. It's the same old crap every single year. Who gives a crap? Just end the brand split. That means let both guys or anybody to jump on Smack the Live or Raw. They recently did it for the pay views. They. No more exclusive period for Raw or SmackDown. Like that was kind of stupid. It was. And I'm glad they ended it. The reason they ended it, my opinion, is because the attendance was very, very poorly. What is it going to take to W and the brand split? You know? These announcers are so dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for the brand split. Or not brand split. 
the WWE shakeup. So what's your thoughts? I see you sometime tonight and sorry for no podcast. I'm not too sure when I will be back for that. Hopefully very, very soon. Have a good one and I'll see you sometime tonight.